my fourth and fifth grade, I am so happy to be able to do these video lessons for you and keep our music class going. I'm so sad that we won't be able to do our concert, but I hope that we can still get some music things in and review some songs together while we are doing this distance learning. So first I want to show you what I brought into our new environment. We have our xylophone, we have a vibratone, we have claves. Miss Lisa brought the magic eight ball in case we need to make some important decisions. And Todd the Toad, couldn't forget Todd the Toad. I brought Sprink. We have some of our uh, handy dandy wands. We have our music superhero board and I brought some extra stuff that we'll be using today to review some music vocab uh, that we need to start going over for the end of the year. First, I want to go over our music superhero for this week. Actually, superheroes. This week, we are going to be learning about Coldplay. And I'm sure most of you know who Coldplay is or probably have heard their songs. So Coldplay started in 1996 and they're still a band presently. And they originated in London, England and let's learn a little bit about them in our what section. So it says the first two members that started this band were Chris Martin and Johnny Buckland. The first two members met during their college orientation week, which is the first week that everyone gets to know each other and get acclimated and used to um, their new environment in college. Throughout their first year of college, the pair had started developing plans for a band. Over their four years, they added friends to their group who brought different talents. The band began playing in local venues around London and quickly gained international recognition. The band won their first Grammy in 2002. They have many albums and multiple songs that have hit the Billboard Top 100. Coldplay continues to make wonderful music that all ages enjoy to, due to its pop rock genre. So, we've talked about genre of music and we know that genre means what? It means a type of music, right? So we have a bunch of different genres. Can you maybe list off a few different genres? We have pop, rock, R&B, classical, jazz, country, right? There's a bunch of different genres out there. So their mix of genres kind of appeal to a lot of different people. Why do we, why do they do it? So besides their love of music, Coldplay continues to use their platform to benefit others. The band has consistently donated a part of their profits to charity to support many global causes and they are advocates for climate change, which is really cool. I know with climate change, we, we studied that during cultural fair, right? So we were talking about how Room 9 was discussing all the things that are in our waters now and room eight you were doing you were standing up for a cause right you were doing all your speeches which was awesome and room seven you were talking about the effect of losing our bees and how it affects our the globe and everything and the pattern and the ripple effect that it has right so they love to support that also let's go back a little bit it said that they donate a part of their profits to charities so part of the money that they make since they started their band, they've donated to other people, which is really cool. And a lot of musicians, famous musicians and bands haven't done that right from the start. A lot of them do it now, but it's really cool to see someone that has consistently done it across the board. So they're a really cool band, that's them. And their music is pretty awesome. We're gonna listen to one of their songs right now for our stretches. I'm sure most of you are probably sitting down right now. So we'll just do some stretches sitting down just so we can get ready to learn a little bit. All right, we're listening to Viva La Vida by Coldplay. <laughs> Sweet the streets 
some things while that song was finishing and they are our charts for our different instrument families so we're going to review instrument families today and we are also going to review dynamics now I want you to think of that word dynamics we've talked about it in the past so I want you to start thinking and trying to remember what you think that word means and what are the different types of dynamics? All right, before we get to that, keep thinking about those things. We're going to review our solfege. So solfege is what? That's right. It's the different syllables that we sing the scale with. So I have my xylophone here, our xylophone here, and we can always play the scale. We've done it plenty of times, right? done that plenty of times. Now remember we have hand signs and we have to sing them as well. So we're going to start on do. Here we go. Follow along with me. One, two, ready, here we go. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Go back down. Do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Awesome job. Now let's do a couple of patterns. So I'm gonna go first and you'll echo after me. Here we go. My turn. Do, re, do, do, do. Do, re, mi. Mi, re, do, do. Do, so, do, do. Do, la, do, do. Do, ti, do, do. Do, 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 do. That was a hard jump. I know it was. <laughs> Let's do a few more. Do, re, do, do. Do, ti, do. Do, re, mi, fa. Do, re, mi, fa, so, so, so. So, fa, so. So, la, so. So, la, ti. Do, do, do. Very nice job. And we'll keep working our way back into it. I know it's been a while since we've done that. So moving on, I want to talk about instrument families. So as a review, we talked about these a little bit earlier in the year, but we have our string family, the brass family, the woodwind family and the percussion family. 
Now, what do you notice in these charts that I usually tell you is a little bit different? Let's look at string and look at percussion. What do you see? What do you see that may be similar? That's right, it's the piano, right? So we always talk about how the piano is both a string instrument and a percussion instrument because there's strings in the actual piano and we have to strike the keys for it to produce sound. So that's why it is in the percussion family as well. So remember, we usually kind of make it its own family and we call it the keyboard family so that we can put the piano in there, the keyboard, the organ, all those different types of instruments. So this week, I'm not gonna sit through and tell you all of these again, just because we've already done it, but on your Google Classroom, there's going to be a link for you to sit through a video so you can actually start working on listening to them because we do really well at visually recognizing them and knowing which ones they are. But now we need to start developing our ear and we need to start learning how to listen to a piece of music and recognize what instrument it is. So if I play a piece for you at school or if I send you a piece, you'll say, hey, I know that's a string instrument and it sounds higher pitched, so I think it's going to be the violin, right? So that's what I wanna work on. I'm gonna show you these charts one more time just so we can see some of the instruments that you'll see in that YouTube video that I'm gonna send to you guys. So string family. Woodwind family. And remember our woodwind family, those instruments have reeds and the reeds are what make it unique, right? That's a part of what we put in the mouthpiece. The brass family. Something to remember about these is the way that they are shaped and what they're made out of. Percussion family. We already know that they're all gonna be a little bit different, but they all have to be striked by a mallet or by your hand to produce sound. Awesome. So that'll be one of our projects to go over. Next thing I wanna go over is dynamics. And dynamics, remember dynamics is how soft we can be or how loud we can be, okay? So remember, we do this a lot in lower L, we say dynamics. So we go from soft to loud. So we have different levels that we can go through. The first dynamic I wanna talk about is going to be the quietest dynamic. The softest dynamic is pianissimo. So pianissimo is your softest dynamic. And that's the one that you usually see that has two P's next to each other, okay? So pianissimo. Next one, that's just quiet, or quiet, <laughs> is going to be piano. After that, you're gonna have one that's medium soft. So it's like quiet, but getting louder. And that's called mezzo piano. And remember, all these words are in Italian. That's why they might seem a little different to us. So mezzo means middle and piano means soft, right? So you're thinking piano, I thought that was an instrument, but it's also a dynamic, okay? So don't get that confused. You can use it for both. So mezzo piano is medium soft. Next, you're going to have medium loud. So those kind of like fall right in between. So your medium loud 
is going to be mezzo forte. And forte means loud, right? So we have middle again in Italian, and then we have forte, that means loud. So medium loud, mezzo forte. Your next dynamic is going to be forte, which is loud, right? And then you have fortissimo, that's going to be very loud. So we start with pianissimo, very soft, to piano, which is soft, mezzo piano, which is medium soft, mezzo forte, medium loud, forte, which is loud, and fortissimo, which is very loud. I'm not being very loud right now because George is taking a nap. <laughs> so with these dynamics, I want you to practice at home a song that we did at the beginning of the year. It is one of our favorite songs called Mama Llama. Yes, we are bringing back Mama Llama. Do you remember how it goes? It goes. Mama Lama Kuma Lama Kuma La Pizza. Mama Lama Kuma Lama Kuma La Pizza. Oh no 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 La Pizza. Oh no 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 La Pizza. Any rainy ditsa penny uwa palamalani achakachi avawachi x y z. And if you can't remember it, you can look it up at home. You'll be able to find it online. Listen to it one more time as a reminder. Mama Lama Kuma Lama Kuma La Pizza. Mama Lama Kuma Lama Kuma La Pizza. Oh no 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 La Pizza. Oh no 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 La Pizza. Any many to two any uwa palamba lani achikachi avawachi X Y Z. Very nice. Remember at the beginning of the year we did this with a game, right? So we would have our hand motions. We did mama lama kuma lama kuma la pizza. Mama lama kuma lama kuma la pizza. But we don't have everyone together right now. So we don't have to do that right now. And then we would have someone walk in, do their dance, and then we would have to repeat their dance. So it was super fun. But this time, what I want you to do at home is I want you to practice your dynamics with mama lama. So really quickly, I'm going to show a dynamic randomly. We have to sing through the whole song together and we have to follow the dynamic marking, okay? It's gonna be a little tricky. So I'm gonna take it slow with the song so that we can recognize when our um, dynamic is changing. Are you ready? Here we go, let's start. Hmm. I have to pick one. Maybe I'll close my eyes and pick one. Fortissimo. One, two, fortissimo, go. Mama lama kuma lama kuma la pizza. Mama lama kuma lama kuma la pizza. Oh no, 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 la pizza. Oh no, 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 la pizza. Any, many, titsawaini, uwa, palamba, laini, achakachi, avawachi, x, y, z. Make sense? So we're singing along, but we're gonna change the dynamic when you see a new dynamic pop up. So this time, I'm gonna start with you and I'm gonna sing it in my head so that you can sing it on your own and see if you can get the dynamic right. Let's try it. Here we go. We'll start off. Hmm. We'll start off with something easy. Yeah. One, two, Start together, Mama Lama. Very nice. I like it. So, fourth and fifth grade. Feel free to go back to any part of this video that you need to, because at the end of this video, I need you to fill out a Google form. 
I'm gonna post it in your Google Classroom post, but it's also going to be in the description of this YouTube video, okay? So on the form, you're gonna put your name, your room number, and you're also going to answer a few questions. So I'm gonna ask questions about dynamics. I'm gonna say, can you remember all six dynamics we talked about? And I'm also gonna ask questions about our instrument family and that video that I'm gonna ask you to watch. I may ask some questions about solfege, right? Or do, re, mi. So I may ask some questions about that stuff too. So try your best. If you have any questions, you can definitely just send me a message on Google Classroom or comment on our first post and I will get back to you as soon as possible. You're all so, so very missed and I can't wait to continue working on music together. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope we're able to learn a lot during this time. Stay safe and I hope you have a fantastic week. All right. Bye guys, I'll see you later.